we'll be constructing an equilateral triangle given the perimeter. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to use our T-square to draw a horizontal line, or you can use a ruler. So on this line, we're going to measure the perimeter, which is 11 centimeters for today's video. If you have, if you have the perimeter is 12 centimeters, and your line will be 12 centimeters. So this line for today's video is equal to the perimeter. So we're going to label the line A, B. So A, B is the given perimeter. And what we'll be doing, we're constructing an equilateral triangle to the, equal to the perimeter. We're going to draw a line at any angle, any length from A going down at an angle. Then we're going to get our compass and our pencil and our ruler. And we're going to measure 2 centimeters. It doesn't have to be two centimeters, it's any convenient radius. And what we're going to do from A, we're going to mark three arcs using the same radius of two centimeters. So we'll go one, two, three. So we have three arcs drawn along the line that we mark, drew at an angle. We're going to label the points one, two, three. Then we're going to join B to three. And what we want to do now is draw a parallel line to three B from two and one. What we're going to do, we're going to use our compass to copy the angle. So compass point at three, we're going to mark an arc. Any radius about one centimeter. So put our compass and mark an arc to intersect the line that we drew at an angle and the 3B. Then we're going to put the compass from point two and mark an arc. Then we're going to put the compass at point one and mark an arc to intersect starting from the line that we drew at an angle. Then we want to make sure that the arc is long enough so that when we do the next step, we can mark it. So what we're going to do now, from point at the intersection here, we're going to mark an arc there. And the same radius, we're going to put it at this arc and mark an arc. Put it at the intersection there, mark an arc. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get our ruler and pencil and we're going to join draw a line from two going through the intersection to extend the line to meet the line, the baseline AB. Then where the two arcs intersect, from one we're going to draw a line to intersect the line AB. We're going to label these points C and D. Then we're going to use our compass now. I'm going to put the compass at point C, radius A, and I'm going to mark a semicircle. Then I'm going to put the compass at B, at, at star D, radius B, and we're going to mark an arc. Where the two arcs intersect, we're going to label at point E. Then we're going to use our ruler and pencil to join D to E. And E to C. This is our triangle, equilateral triangle, from the perimeter that is given. And in today's video, it is 11 centimeters. But if you have 12 centimeters, your AB will be 12. What we're going to do now, we're going to use our T-square and we're going to draw guidelines four millimeters apart. So we draw an equilateral triangle from the given perimeter. And the perimeter is represented by the line AB. And in today's video, the perimeter was 12 centimeters. So if your perimeter was 11 centimeters, your line AB would be 11 centimeters. So we're going to label the drawing now too. Construct a 
and equilateral triangle given the perimeter So good job if you follow the alarm. Come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we looked at the construction of an equilateral triangle given the perimeter. In the next video, we'll be looking at the construction of a triangle given the ratio of the sides. At Cadet Mr. U, we aim to become your favorite math channel and we hope to see you in the next video. Please stay here until then. Thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share.